Hi students, welcome back to today's class. Today we are going to see about uh, chapter 17 that is society, law and ethics. Okay, uh, so in this chapter we are going to see the following topics that is first one introduction, uh, then ethical issues and then open source uh, philosophy and software licenses and technology society, and then e-waste management and uh, gender issues uh, while teaching or using computers and disability issues while teaching and using the computers. So these are the topics we are going to see here today. And uh, first, we, let us move on to the introduction part. That is now we are living in an era called the information age, where we see that most of our activities are technology influenced. Uh, so for example, uh, making an online payment, creating or development of own piece of art or information, such as writing articles or clicking photographs, uh, whatever uh, works, uh, maximum works we are doing, uh, we are depending on for all the activities maximum activities we are depending on a technology okay either computer or mobile phone so like that uh, technology is much influenced uh, in our day-to-day -day activities okay uh, so like in that period we are living here uh, so with the reach of technology to our day-to-day -day life there has been a paradigm shift and has also raised specific issues and problems related to society ethics and law so we are facing some kind of issues and problems are also related to the society also and ethics uh, ethics wise also we are violating some of the uh, ethics uh, or uh, some uh, rules we are not following now when we are uh, getting the contents from the internet okay so society we are uh, society also uh, facing a lot of problems related to the technology and uh, ethics also we are uh, having some problems and law okay so these are the topics we are going to see here in this in this chapter, we will we shall talk about the topics about this very domain, such as intellectual property rights, uh, and then plagiarism, then cyber crime, cyber law, e-waste management. So these are the major topics we are going to cover here today. So first, we will see what is ethical issues. As these days, we can easily say that our society is information society, and our era is that is the period. Our period is information period. Okay. Uh, so as we all know that information is the means to acquire knowledge. So if you want to get the knowledge, if you want to acquire the knowledge, you need to uh, get some information. Okay, so you need to search a lot of information. For that, you need to depend on the uh, uh, internet. Okay, so as we all know that information is the means to acquire the knowledge. In other words, we can say that information forms the intellectual capital for a person or a body. Okay, so any person information is the intellectual capital that means uh, that is a primary uh, thing for him okay so if he know all the information all about all the things only uh, th then we can say that the person is a intellectual person is having intellectual capital okay uh, so however there are many ethical issues involved with the usage and availability of information so there are a lot of issues ethical issues we are facing uh, whenever we use the information or whenever the information is available in the website or in the internet so we are uh, we are facing a lot of ethical issues so we will discuss one by one so some common ethical issues are so what are the ethical issues ethical problems we are facing you know what is the meaning of ethics okay uh, so we need to do every work in a genuine way uh, we should not cheat uh, anyone's uh, we should not steal anyone's work uh, so that is the kind of uh, ethics that is the meaning for ethics okay so some common ethical issues are intellectual property rights okay so if you are uh, creating some information or creating some artistic work or some kind of work if you are doing if you are creating on your own okay so that is your intellectual property according uh, based on your uh, innovation and uh, based on your creativity your own interest you are uh, creating some work okay you are creating some information or some content or you are writing some books okay that is based on your intellectual uh, intellectual uh, talent okay so that property only is known as intellectual property. So for that, you need to get the rights, okay? So that we will see one by one. So th this is one of the issue. So this is this can be uh, uh, st stolen by some people, okay? So whenever you are posting your information uh, in a public uh, domain, okay? The, like uh, internet, if you are placing your information and automatically that can be easily stolen by any persons, any whoever is watching that website or uh, watching the blog, Okay, so they can able to steal your information. So that is only known as intellectual uh, property. So that intellectual property rights related ethical issues we are have facing. 
and plagiarism plagiarism means stealing or robbing someone's information or someone's uh, thing okay so that is a general meaning for plagiarism and then digital property rights so digital property means uh, like uh, social media we are maintaining our accounts like online accounts online accounts mainly email facebook uh, whatsapp uh, twitter instagram like that any social media or blog okay web blog okay uh, so free website that is maintained by you and you will be sharing some information you will be sharing your photos all those things no that is your uh, digital property that is your digital estate okay so that property uh, you need to uh, uh, protect uh, properly okay so that uh, rights also we need to see here we will see here so these are the ethical issues we are facing nowadays that is intellectual property rights plagiarism our information can be easily stolen by any person and digital property rights so everything here everything is involving uh, the computer technology only okay all the information is uh, where it is going to be stored it is everything stored in the computer okay so that is in a networked computer internet okay uh, next first one intellectual property rights okay uh, that is intangible property we will say intangible property what is the intangible means uh, uh, we cannot uh, touch it okay so that property we cannot touch it so like uh, our furnitures our uh, uh, hardware devices that and all we can easily touch and we can feel it okay but this information and all um, innovative one that is uh, by our own creative idea we are creating that okay so that kind of property is only known as intellectual properties or we will say that intangible properties we cannot touch it okay so result of creativity uh, like patents okay patents means uh, if you are creating one uh, one uh, device on your own okay uh, either it may be electronic device or mechanical device okay whatever equipment you are making on your own okay as a new one okay it should be different from uh, the others okay uh, so like that any uh, product if you are creating on your own for that you can get the patent right okay so that we will see in the next pages okay what is meant by patent copyright all those things we will discuss in the next uh, page so this is intangible property so that is obtained because of the result of your creativity okay so based on your creativity you are getting that result okay getting that property uh, intellectual property uh, so as mentioned earlier information makes intellectual property so your information whatever information you are creating on your own that makes intellectual property okay you know what is meant by property that is your asset okay so any piece of information is produced or create with a lot of efforts so whatever new information or new product you are creating that needs lot of efforts and also it, it will consume lot of time okay so uh, any piece of information is produced or created with a lot of efforts and it consumes lot of time okay if you want to create that surely you need to spend a lot of your time okay the cost factor is also involved with the creation or production of information so you need to spend some amount uh, either a small amount or a big amount either in, in any way you need to spend some amount in order to create the, the information or any product if you want to create you need to spend some kind of amount cost so cost also involved with the creation or production of that information so though though once produced once if that information or intellectual property is produced it becomes very easy to duplicate it or share it with others okay easily even now we can see that many uh, videos uh, uh, every people are creating on their own uh, that videos if they are uploading in youtube every everyone can share it everyone can uh, duplicate it okay so they can uh, create in another way okay so like that duplication is possible whenever uh, once once the product is available once it is produced it becomes very easy to duplicate it or share it with others okay so but this is very thing makes information difficult to safeguard unlike tangible property so it's very very difficult so this kind of intellectual works okay informations okay it's very difficult to safeguard to protect it okay unlike the tangible uh, tangible property tangible property means what it is it can be uh, touched like a, like a, what furnitures your furniture items in your home okay so like that uh, properties uh, we can easily protect it so those kind of furnitures and all we can lock it in uh, keep it in one room and we can lock it okay so so that we can safeguard our uh, properties okay so it is not like that the information is it is available publicly okay so it is available in the internet okay 
so any movie you are creating or song you are composing once if it comes out of the uh, out to the public uh, you know so they will be using your music or they will be using your movie clips okay all those things will happen okay so that is very difficult to safeguard those kind of intellectual properties okay so how we can protect it that we will see now the creator or producer of the information is the real owner of the information who is creating that information or who is producing that information that person only is the real owner of the information okay so and the owner has every right to protect his intellectual property to protect one's intellectual property rights one can get the information copyrighted so the information should be copyrighted or patented okay so if you are producing one product that should be patented or use trademarks you can use trademarks for your newly created things or materials okay so you can use trademarks also so we will see the symbols here copyright how the symbol will be patent means patented like that it will be pasted on the product what uh, we have created okay so for that we need to apply so if you want to get this copyright uh, for the, for your product if you want to get copyright or patent or trademark if you want to get so that for that some organizations are running so from them uh, you need to get those trademarks okay so they will be analyzing whether this is already available that symbols and all already available or not they will be checking after that only they will be approving to you okay so like uh, a number plate we are getting for our uh, vehicles no in the same manner uh, whether the same uh, numbers are available or not they will be analyzing so after that only they will be issuing a new number uh, for for our vehicle so in the same manner trademark symbols are also going to be analyzed uh, if it is already there or not will be checked afterwards uh, uh, your symbol no uh, whatever symbol you are uh, Uh, giving uh, in order to get it as a registered symbol okay uh, so for that they'll be analyzing and then only they'll be giving to you as a trademark symbol okay so note intellectual property rights are the rights okay of the owner of the information to decide how much information is to be exchanged exchanged okay so how much information uh, can be exchanged that rights can be given to the owner or it can be shared or it can be distributed okay so for sharing also how much of information we can share the owner can share okay so like that owner ha uh, is having the right okay to decide how much information is to be exchanged or uh, distributed or shared also it gives the owner a right to decide the price for doing or exchanging the sharing distributing so okay so it is giving the owner a right to decide the price okay so he can set the price for the product what he has created okay so <clears throat> that is also possible for the uh, owner okay so this is only known as intellectual property rights these are rights of the owner of information to decide how much information can be distributed or shared or exchanged also it gives the owner right to set the price okay decide the price for doing doing so okay so if you want to exchange the information or share the information how much price we need to pay for that so that also can be decided by the owner okay so now we will see one by one what are all the uh, uh, information now how we can safeguard our information so one is one way is copyright we need to get the copyright for our information and then second one patents we need to get and then trademark symbols we can use it okay so what is it what is copyright means a copyright is a legal term okay you can see the symbol like this uh, whenever you buy some products no you can see buy some books also mainly books in your, in your, any textbooks if you see they will be using this symbol copyright symbol that means we need we, we should not take xerox copy of that we should not uh, uh, distribute to others by taking more xerox copies okay so that is a violation of uh, copyright law okay uh, so that is known as infringe infringement okay so what is copyright a copyright is a legal term to describe the rights of the creator of an original creative work such as literary work or an artistic work okay any drawing work like that or uh, any literature uh, like a uh, poem uh, books uh, or uh, any books uh, any person is writing okay so that kind of works copyright is given okay artistic work literary work design new designs if you are creating for uh, any material or any uh, product okay and song movie software even for software also copyright is given okay so copyright is a legal term to describe the rights of the creator or owner of, of an original creative work such as 
originally he need to create he should not uh, uh, get some ideas from others uh, information and he should not use it okay so that kind of work creative original creative work he need to do it for uh, any kind of literary or artistic work or design or song movie software creation okay so for that kind of products only copyright will be given so what is patent means a patent refers to collection of exclusive rights given to the inventor for their invention so any invention any new product uh, if a person is uh, producing or creating full rights will be given to him okay so like how much price he can set and uh, to whom and all like he can uh, sell that okay so how many persons he can sell all those uh, rights will be given fully to uh the owner okay so patent refers to collection of exclusive rights given to the inventor for their invention what is trademark trademark are some registered words okay registered words or slogans okay for your uh, shop if you are keeping one name so for the getting that name and symbol if you are using for everything you need to register in trademark okay so trademarks are some registered words it should be registered properly okay so you should get registration for you, uh, for your slogans or logos or shapes or colors sounds etc whatever you are using for uh, your goods or your company no services if you are providing also everything you need to register properly okay so trademarks are some registered words slogans logos shapes colors and sounds etc used to distinguish the goods or services of the one trader from the another so from one trader one business person to another business person Uh, their goods and services uh, need to be distinguished uh, properly means for that they need to get for that uh, products or goods or services they need to get the uh, word registered words and slogans so that is they should get trademarks okay they should have the trademark uh, symbol or uh, logos or shapes okay so what is what's protected by copyright what kind of things and all can be protected in copyright and patents and trademark so original works of authorship so original work whatever he the person did no one or did no for that he get he can protect and such as books articles songs photographs sculptures choreography uh, stand uh, that is dance movements and then sound recordings motion pictures and other works for all these things we can get the protection when we obtain the when the owner obtains the copyright uh, copyright of the information okay copyright of uh, for that product okay and then patent patent what it is protecting inventions such as processes machines manufacturers compositions of matter as well as improvements of improvements to this any updations we are making on these machines or manufacturing things no uh, so for that and all uh, we can uh, protect okay those uh, things and all we can protect with the help of the patent okay if you obtained patent if the owner obtained patent he can protect all his uh, updates uh, for the, for the machineries or for the processes everything he can protect it uh, without uh, seeing by others okay and any word or phrase or symbol or design that identifies and distinguishes the source of the goods of one party from those of other parties okay that is one trader to another trader we can distinguish our products so that it is it can be easily protected our product can be easily protected and can be easily identified by others okay and the next one is um, requirements to be protected a work must be original creative and fixed in a tangible medium tangible medium uh, it should be fixed okay an invention must be new useful and non obvious okay uh, so these are the requirements it should be protected it, it must be new and it be it should be useful for that okay useful for the entire society whatever product newly we are creating that should not be used by one small group or one particular person alone it should not be used it should be used by the entire people so like that the innovation should be invention should be a mark must be distinguished uh, distinctive okay that is it must be capable of identifying the source of a particular good okay, goods okay so trademark symbol uh, it should uh, have a distinctive symbol okay then terms of production so how many years it can be applied copyright if you are obtaining for your books or for for any kind of your artistic work original works how many years you can have that copyright and you can have the trademark and patent and all we will see now so author's life so if, how long the person is living okay the creator is living or owner is living that life plus 60 more years in india inside the india uh the person's owner's life along with that 
60 plus years along with that plus 60 years uh, that the copyright can be valid and 20 years alone for patent only for 20 years that can be uh, uh, protected by the owner uh, that can be holded by the owner and uh, for as long as the mark is used in the com commerce okay so in the business area or in the market area how long your product or goods or services are going to be provided so up to that uh, that trademark symbol can be used okay and rights granted okay next uh, feature is rights granted right to control the reproduction so what under rights are permitted here granted here under copyright for the owner what under rights are granted allowed okay he can have the right to control the reproduction that means any other persons they cannot uh, take a xerox copy of our books or uh, they should not uh, duplicate it okay that is only known as reproduction and making derivative works so from that work uh, they will be choosing some uh, equations or uh, some some information they will be using for their work so that kind of derivative works also they should not do it that that also they can control they can they, they have the rights to control that and distribution and publication the uh, public performance and display of copyrighted works okay so distribution also can be controlled and next one for a um, patent right to prevent others from making selling using or importing the patented invention so they cannot use all these uh, things for the patented invention and the next one is right to use the mark and to prevent others from using similar marks in a way that would cause likelihood of confusion about the origin of goods or services like uh, websites we have seen no fake websites okay so in the same manner uh, like as original website fake websites can be created in the same manner here also trademark symbol also can be uh, used to buy uh, some uh, uh, hackers okay so the uh, hackers not uh, robbers like persons no they will be using likelihood symbols okay likelihood symbols or designs or uh, logos they will be using so that would cause likelihood of confusion about the origin of the goods so the people know who is uh, the consumer or buyers who is going to buy the product or uh, get the product they'll be getting confusion so which is original trademark okay so like that kind of things and all can be controlled if the owner original owner comes to know the trademark symbol that is uh, being used uh, duplicate in a false way in other uh, in other company so he can uh, file a case okay against uh, that company okay against that person okay and next is the ethical issue involved with this uh, with that is information must not be exchanged without the consent of its owner so information here what we are coming to know here is uh, the information it should not be getting exchanged without the consent without the permission of the owner okay so the intellectual property rights must be protected for that we need to encourage individuals and businesses to create the new software and new software applications as well as improving existing applications. So uh, for what the intellectual property rights must be protected means then only uh, the individuals, no, individuals can be encouraged properly and business persons are, uh, are uh, encouraged properly in order to create the new software or new software applications they, they'll be creating okay if it is protected properly means okay and ensures new ideas and technologies are widely distributed okay so it is going to ensure that new ideas no new new ideas and technologies are going to be widely distributed if the intellectual property rights are protected properly means and it promotes investment in the national economy so uh, they'll be coming and uh, introducing uh, they'll be in, uh, giving some new ideas uh, and uh, because of that because of the new products no our national economy will get, uh, get improved okay so it it will promote investment in the national economy okay so th these are the things uh, will happen when the intellectual property rights are protected properly means okay so violation of ipr so when we are violating this intellectual property rights no so uh, what is the other word for that violation of ipr infringement okay so people or companies violate the intellectual property right in many ways. Uh, so the violation of IPR is called infringement or IPR infringement. Okay. So if you are not following that violation means what? If you are not following it, then that is known as uh, violation of uh, IPR or IPR infringement. Okay. So there are three forms of IPR infringement. 
first one is plagiarism second one is copyright infringement and third one is trademark infringement okay so uh, these are the three forms of violation of ipr okay so we will see uh, in the next video thank you